All right, let's begin by creating our first select list question. And we're going to call this first question customer. And we need to select the options from the resource file that we just uploaded. So let's go to the file list and then click attach on that file. All right, from the options table, we want to select that first worksheet in the file that we set up. And we want to display in the text column uh, what is in the customer column of the sheet, as well as for the identifier column. All right, let's create our second select list question. And we'll call this one job site. Again, we need to select options from resource and select the resource file that we uploaded earlier. This time in the options table, we need to reference the second worksheet that we set up and report in the text column the job site column from the file and do the same for the identifier column. Now, let's set up our filterable select field by choosing the column in the spreadsheet that we uploaded. It's looking at the customer column and we want it to look up everything from the customer column that equals the first customer select, list, select question we set up. And let's save. I'm going to do this process again and create a third select list question, this time for equipment. Again, we'll select the options from resource and select the file which we uploaded earlier. This time in the options table, we need to reference the third worksheet that we set up in the file and report in the text column and inform the equipment number and do the same for the identifier column. This time when we set up the select question filter, we want to look the values in the column of the spreadsheet for job site and we only want options when the job site equals the job site question which we set up earlier. By doing this, the job site will only report entries in the file when it corresponds with the answer to the custom question. Same with equipment, it will only report the options that correspond with the job site that are selected in the form.